Well, hey there, folks. I'm meteorologist Matt Barentine. We're about to take a deep dive into tropical possibilities for next week. I'll get you your forecast, too, for the upcoming weekend and all that towards the end. I'm going to just give you this real quick. It's going to be hot and sunny this weekend. Really quiet, and calm conditions, dry conditions. So I'll get that out of the way for you if you don't want to wade all the way through this. But here we go. Let's head to the tropics. We're watching this area in the northern part of the Caribbean and the southern part of the Gulf. Right now, they have it at 40% chance development. I fully anticipate that's going to go up here in, a, in the next couple of days. Uh, as we get closer in, they're going to increase these development chances because all the models are basically saying that we're going to see something developing down here in the southern Gulf as we go into about the middle part of next week. This is the European model. I'm running it all the way to next Friday. And you can see a spin in the southern part of the Gulf of Mexico showing up here with this. And I'll kind of get my arrow up so you can really see it. Uh, we're right here. That's the spin it's showing. Now, I'm not going to run this past Friday because things get really squirrely. There's really very little in the way of steering currents in the Gulf of Mexico next week. That gets very problematic when it comes to trying to forecast storms, especially in the long range. So anything past seven days is going to be complete well, not complete garbage, but it's, it's not going to be good. It's, it's, it, there's going to be a lot of changes. I'll tell you, the mo this model, the European, on this latest run, basically what it does, see these arrows I got kind of spinning around? That's what it does. It kind of spins this around for days and days and days and doesn't show it going anywhere because by when the model ends, it's still spinning around in the Gulf for days. That's what it's showing because it doesn't show, doesn't have very much in the way of steering. That's the European model. I'm going to show you the American model. The American model does something different. The um, overnight runs, we're taking this in, right into Mobile Bay next week, not this weekend, but the following weekend, that following Sunday. The latest run I was just looking at just came out. It hasn't quite completed yet. Took it over towards uh, Slidell, Louisiana on Saturday, that following Saturday. Now, the model run before that took it into Tampa Bay. All right. I'm also keeping an eye on what's called the Canadian model, which isn't as good, but it has it going into about central Louisiana. So there's solutions. You could spin out there in the Gulf. It could come right at us. That's certainly it's a possibility. It's not necessarily the top possibility, hopefully, but it's a possibility. It could go to Tampa. could go to Panama City. It could go to Louisiana. There's a lot of solutions at this point, and anybody that tells you they know where it's going doesn't. And, the, and the, the problem here that we tend to see is that these models that we talk about, they run multiple times a day, so they get multiple solutions with each model run, especially when we're looking long range like this. And people can easily grab those things and post them on social media. Like I said, the latest one shows it going right up Mobile Bay, or the one from overnight. So you got to be careful with that. It's just one model run of one model. Like I said, each of these models get run four times a day. so. You know, we got the American model, we got the Canadian model, we got the European model, each being run four times a day. So you do the math there, that's 12 different possibilities every single day. And all they do to get clicks is they grab the one that looks the most devastating and plop it on there for you on social media. So we got to be careful with that. What we do know is that there's a real possibility of a tropical system in the Gulf next week. And the water temperatures there are in the mid to upper 80s. It's just plenty warm for what we call rapid intensification anything above 84 can easily lead to rapid intensification and everywhere in the central gulf right now and even the northern gulf is above 84 degrees so rapid intensification is a real possibility here particularly since i think the upper level conditions will be pretty conducive to that as well so uh, we could easily be looking at a hurricane and maybe even a strong one forming in the gulf next week um helene would be the next name it's possible it's one of the, uh, there's some stuff out in the Atlantic too, could become Helene, but I think it's probably more likely that we see this one become Helene. If it doesn't, it would become Isaac if, they, if something in the Atlantic pops first, um, but probably going to be Helene. So here's what we know, what we have the key takeaways. We, we know that formation is pretty likely by early to mid next week uh, down there in the northern part of the Caribbean, southern part of the Gulf. Uh, the other thing we know is the models have a ton of uncertainties and the reason being because um, there's not much to steer with. When, you know, when you don't have a very good steering, that can lead it to bouncing around a lot and that can lead to a lot of uncertainties. 
Uh, the main thing here too is like, remember I said, you know, one of the possibilities is it could come right up Mobile Bay. That's a possibility. It's the hurricane season on the Gulf Coast. You've always got to have a plan in case that's the case. You, you plan for the worst and hope for the best, right? So know your hurricane plan, make sure you have stuff and you got, we got time folks, we're way ahead of this. So that's the great news here. The good news is that we have plenty of time. Don't let this take you unawares. Some point this weekend, do a, do a stock, you know, take stock. What do you have? What do you need? Fill up the car, make sure you got gas in, do it before everybody else does it, right? You know, if you're sitting here watching this long form of the, of the tropical systems here, here on Fox 10, I know you're somebody that really wants to, to, to know what's happening out there with the tropics. You're somebody that's going to get out ahead of it. Fill up your car this weekend. Get it done. Keep it, keep it topped off. So you don't have to deal with that when everybody else goes crazy a day or two before the storm hits, right? You've already got your car filled up. You've got your gas for your generator. You've got your canned goods. You're good to go. You got your medicines. You got some uh, prescription medicines that you take. Check your bottles, make sure you have enough. Get those called in and get those filled. Get all that taken care of so you know that you're taken care of for a number of days if you need to. So make sure you have all that. We're way ahead of this. We have time to do it. And hey, if you're watching this, I know you're somebody that's going to do that. Uh, and once again, be cautious of social media posts. Like I said, somebody I'm sure right now is posting that, um, you know, 12, 10, 10 day out. No, it's a little more or less than that. It's like nine days out. Uh, yeah, next Sunday, right? That would be like nine or 10 days out of, of this storm hitting Mobile Bay. I'm sure somebody's posting that right now. It's a solution, it's a possibility, but there's a lot of other possibilities too. So be aware of that. Uh, quiet out there for us today. Like, uh, so now we've gone through the tropics, I'll give you, today it looks good out there, we're looking fine. It's gonna be hot though. Temperatures are gonna be in the low 90s across the area this afternoon already. Pretty toasty out there at around lunchtime. Heat index values will be in the mid to upper 90s this afternoon. And this is the way it's gonna be right on through the weekend, so be aware of that. Tonight, of course, we got tailgating because it's Friday night lights. Here's our Pelk Tire tailgate forecast. It's gonna be hot, obviously, for any tailgating. So uh, do your best to stay cool out there. Of course, once the sunset, tonight and the game start temperatures will begin cooling off but it'll still be pretty warm well up into the 80s right through the games as well the weekend forecast it's exactly the same it'll be in the 90s so it's going to be hot it's going to be dry as well so no problems out there uh sunday is the very first day of fall <laughs> it's not going to feel like it it's going to feel like summer so treat it like summer head to the beach or something C conditions are really calm this weekend so enjoy it and take advantage because the following weekend even if the storm is not hitting us it, the waters in the Gulf will be extremely rough, so we'll, you won't be able to go. Well, you, you won't be able to get in the water at the beach, at least. So, we're going to watch out for that. Also, going to be watching out for our rain chances increase. Obviously, it's going to have a whole lot to do with what happens out there in the Gulf. So, uh, a lot happening out there over the next seven days. We'll be keeping a very close eye on it here at Fox 10 News. Obviously, you stay tuned to us. We'll get you all the way through it here as we contend with this possible tropical system next week. Have a good one. Take care. I'll see you later.